Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, and in today's video, we're going to talk about seven things you must turn on in the menu of your Lumix G85 camera. I don't know why I paused so much then, but uh, let's roll that intro and let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, um, these are seven things I highly recommend everyone turn on uh, if you've got a Lumix G85 camera, or pretty much any Lumix camera really. Uh, these seven things definitely help you nail um, good exposure in camera, uh, will also help you with your composition, and just generally take better photos and track better video too, right? So uh, let's get into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the custom menu uh, file, now, what we're gonna do is this all starts on page four. So we scroll down to page four. Okay, the first thing we turn on is the histogram, okay? So that's on, as you can see there, um, the histogram, you know, really lets you help, it really lets you see, you know, if you're clipping your highlights, you've got too many shadows, mid-tones, all that sort of stuff. This is not a video about how to use a histogram. All I want you to do is turn it on, um, and you can go and research on the tube uh, and see how histograms help your photography, right? But um, yeah, the histogram is a good tool. As you can see, I've got a pretty even uh, exposure here happening. You can move your histogram all around your screen as well, wherever you want to put it. I usually put mine down the bottom here. And yeah, it's just a great tool to turn on, right? So histograms number one. Number two is is something that helps you with your compositions. Well, helps me anyway. Uh, it's the grid line, okay? I always put my grid lines on. I know a lot of photographers don't necessarily put the grid lines on. Having the grid lines on is super handy. Um, I have mine on the rule of thirds. Um, I find it does help my composition. Um, you know, I get to place my subjects better, uh, horizons, all that sort of stuff. It just helps me and the way I shoot, right? So grid lines is something else you might want to turn on as well. Now, if we go down, the other thing I turn on is my center focusing button. Uh, that's always on, that helps me uh, recompose my focusing buttons if I'm using, you know, if I'm moving my focus point around the screen and I want to get back to the middle, that shows me exactly where the middle is. Very handy thing to have on. Um, the next thing I turn on is my highlights. That's always on there. Um, if I take a shot, um, as you can see there, I'm not clipping any highlights really a lot, but if I then go and boost things like that, that's a very overexposed exposed image there, people. Take that there. And as you can see, the highlights start clipping. So um, really good tool to see if you're blowing out your skies, blowing out any whites and, well, general highlights and things. Highly recommend you turn that one on too. Let's return to Earth and get this exposure happening again. Okay, so we have highlights on. The next thing I do is I go down and there's zebra patterns. I have it on zebra pattern one. This thing's fantastic as well. As you can see, if I just bump up there, those stripes, that's gonna let me know when I'm starting to clip my highlights early, right? So before I take the shot, I, shot, I can see, well, mm, that brick there, that's gonna be blown out a lot, right? So I can back it off a bit and there, it gives me a visual representation of where I'm gonna blow my highlights out. It's a real good, handy tool. This tool alone is gonna save you so much heartache in the editing suite. If I take a photo, as you can see there, it's a pretty good um, exposure there. Um, if I just dial it back a bit more, the, high, the uh, zebra patterns are sort of gone completely, and there we go there. Um, right, so, uh, zebra patterns are on. The next thing, is something that's very, very important, and that's constant preview, okay? So that lets you, as you can see here, now I must say that the screen, I'm actually recording this video on my iPad Pro, and the iPad, iPad Pro is really blowing out these highlights here. On the actual screen itself, it's not that, not that blown out, the whites aren't like that, it's a pretty good exposure, right? But the constant preview lets you dial in, this is where the EVF is magic, okay? Let you dial in and you can get your exposure in camera every single time. Uh, most of the time that does not come on standard when you buy your Lumix G85 straight out of the box. You've got to turn that one on. Highly recommend you turn that on. 
will chew up a bit more battery, but who cares? It saves time. You get better exposure every single shot you take, right? So constant preview is always on. The other thing I turn on too is we've got to go back to the menu and we've got to scroll down a bit here and auto review, okay? So we take a shot and then it flaps, uh, flashes up in on the uh, back screen or in the viewfinder. That's the auto review. I've got mine set at two seconds. So we take a shot, no memory card, but then it pops up and you can see what you've got, right? So that's just a real handy tool to have. So, um, you know, it's like if you're shooting on an old, old school DSLR, looking at the screen, take a shot, look at the screen, the previews there, right? These seven things are why well, I feel pretty important to turn on in your Lumix G85 uh, or any Lumix camera, really. Um, yeah, if you like this sort of thing and you'd like to see more, you know, quick fire Lumix Panasonic um, G85 tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments below. Um, think about subscribing to the channel and yeah, I'll see you all next time.